I am so broke. I'm so tired. I'm not good enough. I'm insecure. I am, I am, I am. I am. Everybody and welcome back uh, this is walk the talk and my name is Jimmy Ramila thank you so much for joining me today today as you have seen in the intro we are speaking about the power of I am like every time you say I am blah 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 I am whatever you are declaring it and you are manifesting it you are calling it into being and today we're just going to speak about the power of the words i am without further ado let's get straight into this one during the course of this week i was speaking to my colleagues you know having random conversations and you know one thing stuck out from the conversations that i had with my colleagues like there was this one consistent thing that kept, kept um sticking out in every conversation that i had with different people and that thing was the power of words like they would say that whatever you say with your mouth is really impactful it's really powerful and this one particular colleague of mine um when i speak to her whenever i greet her and I say hi how are you or good morning how are you she'll say i am bbm and that stands for uh, blessed beyond measure. So every single time I greet her, she says, I am BBM. And you know what? I have seen, I have witnessed, I have seen uh, that she is really blessed beyond measure. She, she believes it and she is blessed beyond measure. The things that happen in her life have been continuous blessings, have been uh, blessings that she had nothing to do with and she couldn't even imagine those things happening in her life. So the power of her words have manifested and have prophesied things that are currently happening in her life. And I believe that it will continue, you know, to um, manifest things that will happen in the future, in the lives of her children, in the lives of her family in general. So there is so much power in the words I am. When you say, I am so tired, what happens? You become tired. When you say, I am so um, boring, what happens? You become boring. Um, it's just the manifestation of what you are saying. When you say, I am this and that, you are directly linking yourself to that thing that you say you are. And you know, some people say it's the universe, but I believe that God gives you what you say you are. God will grant you whatever you say you are. And I know that this is scripture that uh, speaks about, um, I think it says something like, as a man thinks, he becomes exactly that. So as you think, whatever you think you are, you become that. And there's this favorite quote uh, of mine by Henry Ford. He says, whether, whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you are right. And I'd like to switch it up a little bit. This is what I do. I say, whether I think I am or I think I am not, either way, I am right. Because if you think about it carefully, like if you think that you are attractive and you believe that you are attractive, then you are attractive. Whatever you say with your mouth, uh, in, in terms of who you are and in terms of what you, what you can do, in terms of how you see yourself in general, you become exactly that. So there is so much power in what we say about ourselves, in what we say about the people around us, in what we say about our environments, our jobs, whatever you can think of, about our children even. I have these sessions with um, my mentor slash mom slash counselor. Um, I have these sessions with her. I try to make it every week, every two weeks, but like, you know, on a frequent basis. I see her on a frequent basis. And I've been doing this for the past five, six years. I've been doing that. And at first, when I used to go into her office and we'd talk about how I'm doing, I would say things like, ah, you know, I'm okay. And she would say, okay, uh, how are you in terms of your academics or work or you know I would I would be like I don't know I don't think I'm that smart I don't think I'm that you know um, 
I'm good enough to be even working where I work. I don't think I deserve to do X, Y, and Z. I don't think I deserve this and this and this, right? And she would say, well, that's exactly why you haven't reached where you want to reach. That's exactly why you haven't done what you would like to do is because you think you can't do it. You think you are not good enough to do it. And that's why you won't perform at a level of excellence at work because you don't think that you're good enough to work where you are working. And she told me to write a list, right? She advised me to write this list and that changed my life. I wrote this list and she said, write everything you think you are not. Man, it was so easy. I went through that list in two, probably two minutes. I was just like, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe five to like seven minutes. I wrote that list and it, it was so fast. And I wrote all these things. It was a long list of what I think I'm not or what I think I can't do. And she, she said to me, okay, I want you in front of every word that you've written, in front of everything that you wrote that you think you are not, I want you to write the words I am. That took me back <laughs> a little bit because I was just like, what in the world? <laughs> she was like, just write the words I am in front of everything you think you're not. And I was just like, okay. Then I wrote the words I am. And as I was writing the words I am, I am, I am, I started crying because it's things I don't believe. So I had written that I don't think I'm beautiful. I don't think I am talented. I don't think I can sing very well. I don't think I can do this. So I wrote all those things. I just said singing, writing. I don't know. I can't sing. I am not beautiful. I'm not this. And then she said, scratch all of that. Write the words I am. So, and then she said to me, read it out loud to me. And I had to say, I am beautiful. I can sing very well. I am talented and as I was reading inside of me instead of getting like you know joy or whatever I was breaking down because these are things I didn't believe about myself and then she said to me at the end of the session I would like for you for a month to say these words every single day put it up uh, uh, next to a mirror or whatever where you can see it every single morning look at yourself in that mirror and declare those things over your life say I am beautiful I am confident I am smart I am this I am that and I started saying that I started saying I am beautiful the first day was hard the second day I didn't even want to do it but I did it because I was obedient and I did it for a month and now <laughs> I can see how it has impacted my life in a positive way because now I don't only believe that I am confident but I walk and I talk and I do things in confidence because I truly like from the depth of my being believe that I am confident that I am good enough to do what I do that I am smart enough to go to university and because of those affirmations that I had in the morning and I did it in the morning I and I ended up registering at a university I ended up like now right now i'm studying towards a bachelor's degree which is something i didn't think i was good enough for but it's something that i desired so the power of words when i changed my narrative things became better things uh, i started living up to the person that I, um, I i've always envisioned myself to be i'm not saying i'm there yet but i'm going there you know i'm leading I'm walking towards that. So what you say with your mouth is very powerful. What you declare with your mouth is very powerful. And once you release it, it is received. And when it is received, the response is according to what you believe you are. So change your narrative. And if you are a person who always declares negativity over their lives, my encouragement and my advice would be that you start declaring the opposite of what you think you can't do or, or what you think you are not you will start seeing the manifestation of all of that. You will start seeing the blessings that you think you didn't deserve. You will start seeing favor. You will start seeing things change. You will start having more peace as well and clarity. And you will step into who you've always um, envisioned yourself to be. You will step in the woman or the man that you always thought you are, but couldn't get there. One of the things that prevent us or rather hold us back from becoming the best version of ourselves is the words that we speak with our mouth so what are you going to change 
How are you going to speak about yourself? Are you going to be kind to yourself? Are you going to start seeing yourself as the person who deserves things? Please tell me in the comment section, what are you going to start declaring over your life? Please stop declaring negativity. Please stop declaring things that are untrue about you because I don't think that when God created us, he created us to be useless or he created us to be not enough. He created us for a purpose and for us to reach that purpose, to live in purpose, that means that we have to start declaring that we are deserving of that purpose. We are born for that purpose. I think, yeah, that concludes our topic for today. I really hope you've learned something from this video and if you liked it and if it has changed your life in any way, if it has changed your thinking in any way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe and be part of the family. Don't forget to press on that notification bell so that you can get a notification every time I post something on this channel. I will see you in the next video and it's always lovely to be with you. My name is Dimi Ramila and this is What The Talk.